Hello friends, this video on solutions part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take another question. So we have to find the mass of urea required to make 2.5 kg of 0.25 molar aqua solution. That is, I have to find, here we have molality given. Please note, this is small m. So we have, let's suppose, uh, aqueous is water. So my solvent is water. So this is my blue is my solvent here, let's assume. And this is my water. The red one is my solute. And this is my urea. Correct. Now we have to find the mass of urea required to make 2.5 kg of 0.25 mole aqueous solution. First understand the uh, from the formula we know that molality is nothing but small m nothing but mass of solvent divided by sorry moles of solvent moles of solvent divided by mass of this is moles of solute really sorry moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg correct that is my molality now what is given here molality is given so this is given 0.25 m moles of solute to find the moles of solute you have to find the mass of solute and divide by molar mass of solute right so that is nothing but mass of solute which is we have to find by molar mass of solute what is the molar mass of solute we need to first put the values here molar mass of solute and that is nothing but my urea divided by mass of solvent in kg what is the mass of solvent that is given 2.5 kg now the question is is 2.5 kg mass of solvent no this is the mass of the whole solution correct so we have to find the mass of solvent also so mass of solvent is what mass of solvent is what you have the mass of whole solution from that you subtract the mass of solute what you will get mass of solvent that is something you have to find plus we also have to find the mass of solute that we don't know we will assume that as x now what is this molar mass of solute so molar mass of urea let us find that first so molar mass of urea Let's find that molar mass of urea what NH2 CO NH let's find nitrogen 14 hydrogen 1 into 2 plus carbon in 12 oxygen 16 nitrogen again 14 and then 2 hydrogen again 1 into 2 that is nothing but 60 grams so let's put the value in this equation now let's put the values let's put the values I have 0.25 m nothing but mass of solute in gram let's assume that to be W gram right by molar mass solid 60 gram per mole you get cancel into mass of this is mass of solvent that is the limit mass of solution that is given 2.5 kg minus mass of solute Right? because mass of solvent is nothing but mass of solution put the value here 
2.5 kg minus W by 1000 kg. Why? Because my W is nothing but the mass of solid. I'm assuming in the I'm assuming it to be W grams. So since this is kg, I have to convert this into kg. This will be W by 1000 kg. So hope you understand what I've done here. See the formula is the molality is nothing but mass of solute that is W gram by molar mass that is the moles of solute, correct? It is the moles of solute by mass of solvent in kg. I had the mass of solution. So I had to find the mass of solvent. So mass of solvent is nothing but mass of solution minus mass of solute. Because solution is nothing but solute and solvent combined, right? So if I want to find the mass of solvent, I have to take the mass of solution subtract the mass of solute the mass of solution was 2.5 kg and mass of solute is assumed to be w by 1000 kg because this is in kg i have to convert this into kg now we'll put all this thing in the formula 0.25 mole is nothing but mass of solid w we assume by 60 and this is 2.5 minus w by 1000 kg we saw this Equation which you can do on your own, you get W as 37 gram. Urea. So the weight of urea is 37 gram. Correct. Let's take another example now. So here we have to find the molarity, molality, mole fraction. All these things we have to find for Ki potassium iodide if the density of if the density of 20% aqueous ki is 1.22 gram per milliliter see the mass is not given but the relative mass is given in the mass percent right for all these i have to find the mass first first let me find which one is uh, solute which one is solvent i can see the ki is my solute so red one is my solute and that is nothing but Ki. What is my solvent? It is aqueous. So water is my solvent. First thing is done. Now what is the mass of solutes in solvent? It is given 20% density. So let's assume total mass. Let's assume first total mass be 100 gram so solute is what this uh, ki is 20 percent mass by mass so 20 percent of 100 gram is 20 gram so potassium iodide will be 20 gram remaining 100 minus 20 this 80 gram will be water why the total 100 gram is the total mass of solution total solution is 100 gram potassium iodide is 20 gram and water is 80 gram till this point things are clear okay now i have to find molarity the first thing is i have to find molality molality let's find molality first molality is what small m there is nothing but moles of solute by mass of solvent. Please remember in kg molality, special case, it is solvent. So, what is the moles of solute? That is the moles of Ki, nothing but mass by molar mass, that is 20 gram by molar mass of Ki. What is the molar mass of Ki? Let's find that Ki molar mass will find potassium is 39, iron is 127, nothing but 166 gram per mole. So it is 166 gram per mole is the molar mass. So with this I got moles of solute, right? Divide by. Please note I'm doing it in a shortcut. Moles of solute is nothing but mass of 
सॉलिड बाय मोलमा सॉलिड हेयर सॉलिड इज नथिंग बट के करेक्ट डिवाइड बाय मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इन केजी व्हाट इज द मास सॉल्वेंट वाटर 80 ग्राम सो 80 ग्राम विल कन्वर्ट इनटू केजी दिस इज 80 बाय 1000 केजी यू सॉल्व दिस यू गेट 1.51 एम स्मॉल दैट इज द मोलालिटी ऑफ पोटेशियम Hope you understand. Molality is moles of potassium iodide by mass of solvent that is water in kg. So moles of solute is nothing but mass of solute by molar mass. Mass of solute is twenty gram. Molar mass of solute is one sixty six gram. Divide by mass of solvent in kg. So mass of solvent is eighty gram. Eighty gram is nothing but eighty by one thousand kg. So all this you get one point five one m. Let's find molarity. Molarity is what capital M of Ki. That is nothing but moles of Ki by volume of. Please note here we have solution in liter. So moles of Ki we can directly use this value. Correct. That is twenty gram by one six six gram per mole. This is by moles actually. Gram gram will get cancelled. Get moles. Divide by volume of solution in liter. So please note the total volume of solution in liter we have to find. It is given the density of total solution is one point two zero two gram per milliliter. And we know density is mass by volume. So we want to find the volume. It's nothing but mass by density. Correct. So let's find the mass somewhere here. Let's find the volume of solution. Volume of solution is nothing but Mass of solution divided by density of solution. Please note, since it is the volume of solution, I am taking mass of solution divided by density of solution. What is the mass of solution? Is it twenty gram, eighty gram? No, it is hundred gram. Why? Because mass of solution will be mass of both Ki and water. That is hundred gram. And that is we have assumed total mass of solution is hundred gram. Correct. What is the density? One point two zero two gram per milliliter. Gram gram gets cancelled, right? What you get is from this eighty three point two milliliter. That is the volume of solution. So we have got eighty three point two milliliter. But we don't want milliliter. We want in liter. So we'll divide this by thousand, and this will become liter. Correct, because we want volume of solution liter. Please understand the units, because if you don't understand the units properly, you will not get correct answers. So it is always volume of solution liter. So we'll convert this into liter, right? You solve this. You solve the whole thing. You get one point four five capital. So you see the molarity in molarity is almost nearly same, but for a very dilute solution, this will all be almost equal for water. And this is what we explained also. In the density, let's suppose point two percent or point one percent. We calculate the value of molarity in molarity. It will always be same. The third point which you define is the mole fraction of Ki. The mole fraction of Ki is what? Nothing but moles of Ki divided by total moles of the whole solution. This moles of Ki in moles of water because in this solution we have only Ki in water, right? What are the moles of Ki? The value we know. 
moles of ki is nothing but this guy right we have just seen moles of ki 20 by 166 moles so see gram gram it will get cancel you get mole as a unit divide by moles of ki again the same value plus moles of water moles of water you have to find moles is nothing but mass per molar mass so what is the mass of water 80 gram what is the molar mass of water that is something we all know h2o right 16 plus 2 18 grams per mole is 18 grams per mole this gets cancelled you get mole as the unit you solve this you get 0.026 and there'll not be any unit because end of the day this moles and this mole will get cancelled so the mole fraction will be unitless correct so we have find the molality molarity and the mole fraction of potassium iodide in this aqueous solution 20% by mass thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again